Hi and welcome to Disabled Dating with Mindy. This is the series where I talk to you about disabled dating and all of the issues surrounding that. This is a two-way conversation so please feel free to leave your comments down below as well as any other topics you might have for a future disabled dating. This happens every Saturday. The first hurdle that people come across when dating with a disability and that is when to disclose that you have a disability and where to do it. Do you do it right off? Do you do it kind of offhandedly in a funny way? Do you not do it at all until the first date? It depends on where you're meeting the person. If you're meeting online it's kind of hard because you don't have their physical body in front of you necessarily so you're kind of gauging based on conversation and people can be different in conversation versus in person so it's kind of hard to know either way I have three sort of scenarios for you one say you're meeting at a bar I don't do bars or clubbing but this may so much sense if you're at a bar or a restaurant or something like that and somebody comes up to you and you're sitting down and you have CP like or any other disability where you might not be in a wheelchair all the time or using some kind of mobility aid all the time that screams hey I'm a little different you might be approached by people who want to talk to you, want to get to know you, and they may think that you are able-bodied, which I always think is a compliment, and I always try to pass for being able-bodied, but it never really works. So what you can do if you, say, really like a guy, but you don't want, or a girl, you don't necessarily want to say, like, hey, I have this thing, it's called blah, 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 you could create a reason for you to walk away from the table or the situation so that they see you move so that they can then bring it up or not bring it up when they next see you and now if you've left them with your friends it may also come up that they ask your friends about you instead of asking you about you but then I would just ask your friends to not have them try to relay it because then it can kind of get discombobulated as if it's like a game of telephone right if you tell the person then you're making it as clear as possible the second scenario that I have for you is if you are online dating and you need to make a profile right and somewhere in there they ask you all about yourself and they'll usually ask you if there's anything extra you want to talk about or you know say that's not in their specific categories that they've already set out so you could and I have before just put it right out there in kind of a funny way um, that you know I use a wheelchair sometimes if that's not your style, roll Just on. to tell them like, hey, I'm confident within myself and if this freaks you out, then you know what? We're not meant to be together and you can easily screen out people. And you're still gonna get weird comments and strange requests. And that's what the handy block button is for. Don't be afraid to use that block button. Just be aware of that if you're going to put it out out there right away. The third way you could do it, um, and this is what I have done in the past, and it semi-works and it semi-backfires, depending on the person you are and depending on the person who you are communicating with at the time. You can wait until, say, you've exchanged a few different um, conversations and you're in the middle of like a longer conversation or you have 
gauged that it's about the right time, but I wouldn't do it like way late in the in the conversation. Like if I if I meet somebody online and I am messaging with them, within the first three to four messages, five messages of like longer messages, not just hey, what's up? What are you doing? What you know what is your favorite color type of messages but the the longer more in-depth messages i will find a way to mention that i have a disability but i will also sort of sandwich it in with a bunch of other things that are non-disability related so it doesn't seem as such a big deal. So for instance, if I met a guy and I was messaging them, I might say, you know, if he asked me, you know, what, what do you do for fun? I might say, oh, I have a YouTube channel that deals in disability and disability lifestyle and the way that people with disabilities uh, live. What do you do for fun? Some of the other things I like to do for fun are to go and do adrenaline type sports and blah blah blah. Go on from Then they can choose whether they want to bring up that again or not end it with oh and if you have any questions feel free to ask you know something like that don't feel embarrassed I've answered them all it's not as confrontational and it's just very soft and a way for you to get it in there without it being the sole focus of everything where the whole conversation switches to you being disabled and how that's going to work and if that's going to work. The way that it may backfire on you though is if you are talking to somebody and maybe you've waited too long or they're just not the right person for you. You'll, you'll go about put, putting it in there just like however you want to do People it. might say, oh thanks for telling me and being honest um, I don't know if I can date you now or they'll find you know some nice way to put it that they don't want to date somebody with a disability and then you just kind of end it there and you haven't like wasted a bunch of time and money on going out on a date. You haven't invested a lot emotionally into the relationship yet, so that's why it's good to get it done early. Those are my tips for disclosing that you have a disability when you're dating. Don't be afraid of it because, yes, it's something you have to tell them, but a lot of people, especially nowadays, are very open and a lot of people are not and if the person is not then you shouldn't be with that person anyway they're not the right person for you so let them move on with their life you'll move on with your life and you'll find somebody else better. that's it for me today you guys but if again you would like to leave comments or suggestions for the next disabled dating please leave them down below and as always guys whatever you're going through keep pushing and i will see you in the next video